my name is uh, Boniface Kemani. I'm a sculptor by profession. Uh, basically, working uh, on cold casting is my main technique. Though I, can, I also sculpt stone and uh, wood. Well, uh, the sculptor I've been working for the last like uh, 20 years, uh, basically on other materials, on the wide range of materials. I've also been uh, teaching, though so I've stopped uh, teaching. Uh, but uh, let me say in sculpture I have an experience of around 20 years. My inspiration is uh, general, uh, but I have a lot of interest with the human figure. I find the human figure very challenging in terms of uh, the curves, in terms of the posture. So basically, uh, I, I like the challenge of the human figure. Uh, in terms of favorite artwork, well, uh, the what has inspired, what I found very challenging, or what I would say my favorite is David, my Coangelo is David, but uh, locally I also find the work of people like Nabili Kaigua, you know, the diver, the more. At one time, that is a really challenging work, and I get well. I find it uh, a challenging piece. Uh, dream project. <laughs> I think I I wish one day I could do a monument. Uh, more or less like. Uh, the line of like what has come up with at the Uru Park. You know, capturing the essence of, uh, of being Kenyan. So a monument is what I'm hoping one day to do. <laughs> well, I don't know what I would say, but uh, first and foremost, I think God was the, I find God was the foremost artist. In terms, as I said, the human figure, if you look at the challenges of the human figure and what God did, then you would say, well, that is somewhere. <laughs> Secondly, uh, Michelangelo, as I said, is also one of my favorites. In terms of what he did with sculpture, producing uh, very detailed artworks and monumental in size that, uh, you know, if you're talking about something like 18 feet, that looks very nicely done. Uh, that's an artist that I also like very much. Uh, locally, I do a wood like wood. It comes to mind. I, I, as I said, the, the works of Kaikua, I, 
I would want to stand next to him and see how I would compare. Well, uh, at the end of the day, I believe art, art requires you have uh, some clients of some sort uh, who can uh, actually fund that particular work. Personally, uh, or rather for the last two years, what I've been working on are commissioned pieces. Uh, you have a client who commissions you to do something and they basically fund that particular work. Other works, if not funded, uh, other pieces, you know, they are work that cannot, you don't expect to be funded, but you actually do the work for your own expression. Because you might have some time where you don't have a client who's funding your work but you still need to remain uh, relevant, you still need to remain working. So at that particular time, I do my own uh, personal work for exhibition purposes. But at the end of the day, my belief is that at least it's good to have some funding of uh, some sort because you no know, bills still need to be paid. Uh, most of my research, uh, internet does help a lot because with internet there is a lot of information you can get on the internet. There is a lot of inspiration that can be derived from the internet because you are able to see works from all over the world and that can form as part of the research. But books also help because books you know books you can read at your own time it's only unfortunate that uh, our local libraries they don't have a lot of material on art so primary source ends up in the internet no no currently um in art full time so i i basically expect art to pay for my bills. Basically, let me say I'm surviving on art. Ah, uh, yes, it does. Because art, I would say it's a reflection of the environment. What you interact with, the people you see, they, they, they form the basis of what uh, you end up uh, producing like for instance you might be walking around you see you know an interesting uh, episode probably in the pub probably in the marketplace and that at one time will uh, uh, form part of what you want to produce you know as I said I find a lot of inspiration with the human, human figure so if you find an interesting uh, pose for a woman sometimes, this is something that you don't probably do to sculpt and get. So I would say yes, the environment where you live, it does form, it does influence the kind of artwork that you produce. Uh, currently, I'm specializing on uh, casting. In casting, I'm using polyester resin, what people refer to as fiberglass casting. So basically, it's plastics. Uh, and with that, uh, that can be made, uh, the model can be made using clay. So basically, I start with clay or plaster. Then I move on to silicone for making the mold and also now the resin and I produce my artworks that. 
tools are many as you can see knives hammers uh, equipment like welders uh, grinders you work with an assortment of tools uh, whatever whatever can form as an extension of my hand that is what I use as my tool so if I need to hammer I need I'll, uh, use a hammer I'll use a stone I need to cut I'll use a knife I use grinders basically what <laughs> What brings out what I want to get on the sculpture? Yes, yeah, so it's an assortment. Yes. Uh, I would want to comment on what is happening socially. You see, probably the way I see things might not be the same way as somebody else is seeing things. And if I can be able to do make a comment socially something that will uh, kind of provoke somebody to, to, to think deeper about something or to see humor in what is happening in society well uh, I think I would have played my role Professionally or as an artist, I think I would want to leave a mark. I would want whatever work I would have produced to, to live beyond me and to become recognized as a, as a Kenyan artist, somebody who left a mark. So that is why I would want to actually uh, do art with a passion and leave some artworks that will leave a mark in the Kenyan uh, arts. Yes. Well, so for somebody who is starting off uh, in art, I would want to encourage them. Art is not as it was before because you will get that uh, art was not given the kind of recognition it deserves. Yeah, there is a time that, uh, you know, if you had an inclination towards art, the question was, can't you do anything else? You know, if you kuchora, come and tell you, because it's your kuchora chora. Kazi, I mean, why can't you go for the, what they call the serious, serious what? Uh, serious professions or serious subjects, mathematics, you go for engineering. But things have changed. Art has become recognized. In fact, uh, the, the cultural industry in Kenya, my experience is that it has been growing and growing very well and growing in the right direction. So anybody who is interested in art, I would encourage them to actually pursue that area. For them probably it might be easier because, uh, well, it has become established kind of, that they have a, a baseline from where they are working. Previously, maybe things were difficult in the school system, they never recognized art, but then, uh, things are changing. So it's a worthwhile career to pursue. Uh, well, uh, I'm formally trained as an artist. I have a degree in fine art. Uh, but also, 
there is that passion because training might not necessarily be enough if you don't have the passion to, to, to do something so even as early or rather when I was very young I do remember I was interested in art whether uh, drawing I can remember drawing so, so from there that is when now I actually went through the system so I, uh, secondary I took art I went on to university uh, opted for fine art in the training and uh, got my degree in art but after the degree that is now when you actually do a lot of exploring you try out different materials and I was also fortunate in terms of when I was teaching I was able to actually look at different kind of materials. So there is also that aspect of further training in terms of uh, you know self-initiative. So as art, I would say if somebody is interested in art, uh, the, the passion is very important. You need to have that passion. Not necessarily uh, people talk about the tal talent. But talent can also be nurtured. Eh? But if you have the passion, even if you don't get training, but you have the passion, then I'm sure you will be able to achieve a lot in art.